you for joining us on another episode of Talking Chaos. I am the Condor, of course. I say that every episode without avail. Uh, if you guys are noticing a difference in sound quality, genuinely, I hope you are. Um, <laughs> and that giggle, as you may have heard, is my cohort, my, my partner in crime. Um, I'm probably his Robin, really, let's face it. Uh, that's Warlock <laughs> Brad, everybody. Um, in today's What's episode, up, guys? we're gonna we're gonna talk a little time travel. Um, I told Fred, you it's a tricky subject. <laughs> Fred and I kind of uh, started talking about this, and frankly, the ins and outs of what we were discussing sounded like episode quality material, um, content that listeners might be intrigued about. Now, time travel right off the bat, Fred was like. We're not talking about altering events here, are we? And maybe we are. <laughs> maybe we well, play a little game here where we're like, okay, if you... I mean... Go ahead. I, was gonna say, I mean, in the theoretical sense, like we're not actually going in t- time traveling in this, in this episode because... Why you gotta be, ruin it? Because, I mean, I gotta share that immediately that like we're not gonna try and destroy <laughs> reality that people know. <laughs> I uh, I think, I don't know, a part of me believes that reality is a little stronger than that. And um, you immediately brought up, like, the MCU's, uh, their attempt like end to game manipulate time travel. time travel. Yeah, exactly. Where it breaks off gonna, and creates. I wasn't going to mention particular movies, but you said Endgame, so. Well, I mean, okay. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Endgame, there's going to be spoilers. Hit, you know, hit pause now. It came out, what, earlier this week? Go fucking buy it, rent it, whatever, and see it so that we can, you can listen to the rest of this episode. Right, and at the same <laughs> time, hopefully we won't get too much into the plot. All that we're really spoiling is that there is a time travel element to Endgame. Yes. Um, how that all plays out, you'll have to watch the movie to find out. But uh, we're not here to talk about movies. Uh, we don't really do that on this this podcast. We touch, we glance off of stuff. We might reference, reference it, yeah. But, but that's not what we do here. Mm-hmm. We don't review shit. Instead, we speculate uh, nonsensically about topics that we really have no business discussing. <laughs> <laughs> um, for instance, neither one of us are... Theoretical physicist. Astrophysicist. Yeah, I was going to say, like, we have no background in practical or theoretical sciences, um, theoretical mathematics, quantum uh, physics. Fucking, I can't even make boil or water boil on a good day. <laughs> That's where I'm at with chemistry. It's because you keep looking at it. But time travel, right? Uh, a, a family member of mine posted a, a a Facebook post. It was social media. And mm-hmm. I sent it to you. And it said, if you could go back to any decade in human history, where would you go? Fred, any elaborations? Uh, you know, I, there are so many different like places that I'd like to go. Like, but <clears throat> the problem with it is that like, I'm assuming we're going backwards and not forwards. Correct. I did not put any such limitation on your hypothetical. Well, I mean, okay, then if... But it has to be a decade in particular, like 2130 to 2140, <laughs> if that's what you're into. <laughs> oh, God. Well, and that's even harder because it's like the, okay, like I... So for me, I always loved classic rock. Like I would love to go back to like the either the 70s or the 80s and go see like fucking journey where fucking steve perry is still the lead singer like that i've seen journey in concert voice <laughs> yeah like i've seen journey in concert and like i saw it with the little asian dude running around jumping and shit like that where you know the bases look like father death i didn't know that journey <laughs> had bought themselves a little asian but that's okay no, no they <sighs> <laughs> glancing <laughs> They found this guy who he did karaoke stuns exactly like Steve Perry. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Like he's, they found him at like through YouTube or some shit like that. He, d- he was doing karaoke, but he sounds ex- like his voice sounds exactly like Steve Perry. So that's how he got the fucking. 
And so they were like, hey, and they, they approached him and were like, hey, we still wanted, like the band still wanted to do music. They were just like, we don't have a lead singer. Like we don't have Steve Perry's iconic voice. Yeah, that does present a bit of a pickle. And, and so you're like a band and your lead singer can't do it. Yeah, well, bounces out. Like he went and did solo shit. Uh, at 50, that's often what I would have decided to do. <laughs> But no, like for me, I'd love to go see, um, I'd love to go see fucking Journey with Steve Perry. I'd love to go see Jimi Hendrix live. I'd love to go see, um, fuck, Queen. Solid picks. Like, yeah, like the, the like so like again, I can't r- determine whether I want to go in like the seventies decade or the eighties decade because they're both like for music at least solid decades for me. If I'm not going to be stuck there, I would love to do the 60s. Really? Yeah, dude. Get to Woodstock. Explore my mind. Um, Because you haven't done that enough already? Not the scene (laughs) that they did. Not to the extent (laughs) that they did. Are you sure? Um, Because it sounds like they were just a bunch of hippies in a field dropping acid and listening to music, which I'm fairly certain you've also done. It was a muddy field. I've never been in a muddy field while I was on acid. Would you like me to arrange that? (laughs) (laughs) Probably find one. Yeah. Um, Go out by my parents' house. Guaranteed. (laughs) No, I don't know. Civil rights. 60s, you get the possibility of meeting people like Ginsburg and Burroughs and Kennedy and Martin Luther King. He wasn't quite dead yet in the 60s. I think he died in 63. Um, well, in 64 was Kennedy. 68 was Kennedy. Really? I think I so. I swear it was 64. 68, 69. It could have been 64. I want to say it was 69. Um, I could be totally wrong. We're a couple 30-year-olds speculating on history that's 50 years old. So. Oh, no, I'm finding out, motherfucker. Like, I'm <laughs> searching this shit. <laughs> Even a wizard has to use Google every once in a while. It's pretty hilarious. You know, it happens. Uh, da, 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 where was it? Um, really? Why are... Can I music, get... Music is kind of one of those cool things that you can appreciate at any point. You don't necessarily have to be in the era that it happened to really get the full experience. And True. Um, who's to say that uh, the production quality of the remastered stuff that we're uh, able to have access to today isn't better to some extent than say the 45s or 33s that were being played in the sixties. True. Not inaccurate. Although for me, it would more be the environment, the like actual atmosphere of being within like that person's presence. If like, if that makes any sense. Also JFK 63. Oh, ouch. Yeah. November twenty second, sixty three. Did you? Did we get a number on uh, King? When was God MLK damn, assassinated? <laughs> hey, you're the wizard. Like I'm, these responsibilities shouldn't fall on me. I I have but bird wings. Yeah, you can still fucking hunt and peck, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Could use my little bird beak to like, G O O G L E. Um, so sixty eight was MLK. Oh, so I had them reversed. Yeah. I thought MLK was 63 and Kennedy was 68, and it turns out it was the opposite. Okay, well, I guess that's on me. Uh, The condor is but a small bird. Um, Giant wingspan, small bird. Small Um, brain. (laughs) Yes. History, though, like, I don't know. There's something fascinating to me about how old civilization is. So part of me would really, really want to go back and find out, like, was Atlantis a real place? Are we completely full of shit after three, four, five, six thousand years? Um, depending on <laughs> who you date the story from. Um, well, I mean, so for me, like, if I, like if I had to go back and like if I was taking my family with me, I would absolutely not want to go before like civil rights because you know, again, my wife is brown and that's a bad time. Right. As a uh, or, as a once right. famous comedian said, anything before nineteen eighty four, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, hold on. Now you're making me Google other shit. <laughs> like what? What are we googling now? 
Um, so it's uh, the loving case. Interesting. So this episode should probably be renamed Condor in Fred the Wizard Google Everything. <laughs> um, Pretty much. Because we don't know shit yeah. about fucking history. It's not our fault. We got poor educations. Well, bringing it back to the conversation I originally wanted to have. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, I know. The future. Would you want to go to the future? Mm. Would you want to see what the world is going to be like 100, 200, 1,000 years from now? I mean, yeah, part of me wants to just to see if how, like when we decided to fucking kill each other, like kill ourselves off or, you know, some Dude, other how race. How far does to, humanity make it? <laughs> yeah, how, how far does humanity make it before like either we kill ourselves off or fucking like aliens come down and kill us off? For the sake of the universe, like we really ought to do everybody else a favor and get rid of this species. That's probably the best move. <laughs> well, honestly, I could see that be like we're like we're the quarantine planet of these people are so goddamn toxic they kill each other off. They and were then good it, when it was just Earth, but now they're trying to get to the moon and Mars and they're fucking things up for the rest of us. <laughs> now they're looking at faster than light travel where they can go to different galaxies. Nope, we're not having this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I definitely want to see what space travels like. I'd want to actual like that. Absolutely. Actual civil, like where civilians are able to like, Hey, I want to go to fucking Mars and shit yeah, like that. I'm or not like- going to go into the past to become an astronaut, to land on the moon. That would be so risky. Like <laughs> a bunch of those dudes didn't make it. I'm not putting my hat in the drawing for that. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas, so you'd like to go where there's a solid, reliable, um, amount of space travel or reliable space travel. Yeah, but who knows if like space piracy isn't a thing and I end up getting abducted and sold into some alien slave trade. Like, dude, the possibilities are totally endless. Oh, Jesus Christ. I know that sounds absurd as all hell, but I'm just saying. No, no, no. You're, you're not wrong. Like, I, I'll give you credit on that. Like, the end, eh, what says that this doesn't actually fucking exist? It's just thin. It's just really razor thin. <laughs> <laughs> this is just as plausible as predators actually landing on Earth and Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> having to fight them all off. <laughs> well, at this day and age, see, this is what it is. They're just waiting for Schwarzenegger to die off so they know that they have somebody that won't be able to fight them off. I'll be honest with you. If the next Predator movie is Donald Trump trying to fight off Predators, I'm going to that. I'll, I'll go to theaters and watch that shit. That would be oh, hilarious. <laughs> Any politician. Put fucking Chuck Schumer in there. Watch him fight aliens. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> now see, aliens, they've instituted a bullet tax. Now I'm only allowed to use <laughs> three on you. <laughs> it's just... I only say that because at one point Arnold Schwarzenegger was a politician. So my mind went to absurd politicians and from both sides, there are a ton of them. I don't need to get into the specifics of it. Do you think that time travel will ever be legal? Um, Future, past, whatever. No. Like, I mean, other than the, in the aspect of like, we're currently on a time traveling device traveling at one second per second. Wow, that was deep. <laughs> I know. I said that sarcastically, so I'm really glad that you laughed. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. But not, <clears throat> we are on a giant time-traveling sphere that's rotating around another time-traveling sphere, hurtling X miles per hour through the universe at one second a second. <laughs> <laughs> one second per second. You're however many miles per hour per hour. Yeah, I get it. Um, <laughs> you're welcome for that one. I'm uh, shaking my head because that's <laughs> just the most obvious shit I've ever heard in regard to time travel. Like that's we are currently traveling at one second per second. I just can't even stop <laughs> repeating it because it's so fucking retarded. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, no, for me, <laughs> I'm allergic to that nonsense. Uh, okay mostly allergic to bullshit yeah (laughs) no um so for me it's the um like for example stephen hawking when he had his um party for time travelers 
Like, and nobody fucking came back to it. Like, if tra- time travel like, actually existed, like, in, in whether in theor- theoretically or whatever, like, somebody would have fucking shown up at that bitch and been like, hey, yo, I'm at this year. See you then. This is where the end game. Because it would have altered the, yeah. Yes. So if people had showed up to his party, there would be a new timeline in which people showed up to his party. That timeline would not exist for you and I. Fair enough. Okay. I could, I can get behind that. The possibility that the party happened is like Schrodinger's cat. And we're not even going to rip that Pandora's box of hypotheticality open yet. <laughs> okay. Anybody who gets that reference understands that I'm not even fucking going there. The cat's dead and alive. Fuck you. That is the worst humane society I've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Schrodinger was not the most humane. <laughs> oh, goodness. That would be a hilarious cartoon to do, by the way. Humane Society, and they're trying to give away Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> <laughs> don't open the box. Whatever you do, don't open the box. <laughs> the cat will be simultaneously dead and alive. <laughs> and you do not want to see that. <laughs> Instead, there's just a slide where you like drop a mouse in or like cat food or some some nip. You know, what I mean? <laughs> you gotta get that nip. I could use a little nip right now, actually. A little nip or a little greenery? Yeah, well. Let's greenery. Just, uh, we're going to call myself <laughs> Smokey the Bear for the sake of uh, burning these trees. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> also, I, I'd like to say real quick, shout out to Charity for fucking doing that art. Yeah, that cartoon like, is amazing. Anybody who's listening to this episode right now, take a look at... Um, it's a, our it's Facebook a fan, page. fan drawing on our Facebook page. Uh, Talking Chaos Podcast, I believe, is the URL to that. I might be uh, is it just Talking I, Chaos. I don't know. You guys will find it. The link is usually in our the, episodes. And say that it's the it's on the Facebook and the um, subreddit. Yep, and the subreddit is definitely at Talking Chaos Podcast uh, yes. or subreddit slash r talking ca- i'm too old i can't do this <laughs> like every time i try to talk about social media accounts i sound like a fucking idiot <laughs> like how do i type my name in don't worry they already know can you imagine though like possibility that uh in the future um sats will be geared around like what you know about computers that would be a change i would enjoy well, um, if I remember correctly, they're already teaching like coding as far as like Python and things like that in in like elementary school. Like elementary, like is learning coding from my under- at least from my understanding. Granted, you know what? We're saving it for the fucking education episode because yeah, we are, we are, we are going to do an education episode. When that'll air is completely up in the air right now, so you guys keep an eye out for it in the future. Um. But it is definitely something that we want to work on, uh, our thoughts on education, etc. But we're not here to talk about that. If time travel, if, if this episode is about education in any way, it is that I would go back in time and make sure I got a good education. <laughs> <laughs> Which, from past episodes, you made it sound like you did not. <laughs> I think that that's pretty clear to the audience listening through this episode so far. <laughs> I don't think that's anything that needed to be pointed out, but I appreciate you, Fred. Thank you. That was uh, a unnecessary dig at my educational upbringing. Hey, man, I I had the exact, pretty much the exact same educational upbringing. Yeah, well, haha. Now you've thrown (laughs) both of us under the bus, motherfucker. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, Captain Obvious. (laughs) Um, When will the plane be impacting? (laughs) It depends on when I get out of my time machine. Ha ha. (laughs) (laughs) (coughs) Um, Time travel. If there's anybody listening to this program right now that happens to have a time machine, please call us. 
We have a hotline. <laughs> so either right now or in the future. Like, that's, let's be fair. Like, yeah, yeah. This podcast may be in an archive of podcasts in the future where, like, hundreds of millions of podcasts can be listened to simultaneously without actually having to hear anything. Where, you know, it's like the Borg and everybody is just simultaneously, like, merged together. I think you've uh, Collective gone mind. far beyond podcasting at this point. Like, that's... Oh, um, yeah. The collective knowledge, you know. Okay. I'm just going to out. Let it happen. I don't really want to be one with you or anybody else for that matter, let alone like <laughs> millions of people. That sounds like a weird sort of human centipede situation that I don't really want to be a part of. <laughs> Somebody's just like sewn our brains all together and we're all walking around like one circular spider. Well, I mean, let's be fair <laughs> There was already talk of us putting, um, like a brain, like transferring a brain into it, like a not a, one, not only AI, but also like seeing if they can transfer like a consciousness into an electronic form, like other than like actual circuitry of the brain. How does this apply to time travel? It we're, doesn't. We, we are we're coming Tan- back to our originality in the tangents. tangents. That we we have no problem. <laughs> Let's go off on it. <laughs> Here's a hypothetical. Is okay. immortality time travel? I mean, in the in the instance that you're moving forward at one second per second. Oh my god, this again. <laughs> this guy. If you are fed up with Fred's antics, please reach out to us at uh Talk to Chaos <laughs> Podcast at Patreon. Um Mm-mm. we would like to shout out to our patrons. You guys absolutely make this possible. Uh <laughs> Ali S, Mike S, and uh, Chelsea B. Uh, we really appreciate you guys. And if you want to be credited in an episode, go ahead and join our patron. Um, there's some really cool benefits in there. We're doing a, a one-to-one outreach right now until like September, um, and that will drop off. So if you wanna, if you want us to reach out to you and like ask you some questions that might possibly end up in an episode in the future. Get at us. Join that $25 tier on our patron. That's the only way you'll qualify for that. Um, well, or if you want to get the full uncut version, where you, which, if I remember correctly, is the $10 and up tier. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you'd like the full, like, the, the general public gets the trimmed version of this. We do have an actual full extended bonus content uncut bush, or the full bush, I believe is what we're calling it. <laughs> uncut <up>. bush. <laughs> Great. The full bush, <laughs> uncut bush. I mean, it's both the same thing. It is. It is the full bush. If this is the trip, we're going back to the seventies. The, yep. the full bush. <laughs> yep. We are. T- we time travel with this shit. Um, <laughs> we're straight up Parisians. Full bush. Um, <laughs> that was a <laughs> European joke. <laughs> would you? Uh, would you want to see the Renaissance? You know, actually, I was thinking about that as much as like we were talking about like, oh, like American history and stuff like that. I was like, you know, maybe like going back to like when Chaucer was around or like seeing the few like medieval, like feudal, like fucking knights and swords and shit like that would be kind of dope. Yeah, you'd have to give up some things like so, uh, so <laughs> and, you know, internal pl- or, you know, interior plum- plumbing and, you know, like not walking and shit in the street and shit like that. Like, I mean, the p- biggest problem I would have was be walking. I'd be walking down the fucking street with my cell phone, like taking pictures of shit. <laughs> <laughs> the most obvious time traveler in the world. There's fucking <laughs> artwork of Fred somewhere with a staff and a cell phone. <laughs> there, there's pictures of that. Don't we don't we don't go about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious um what about religious figures because a part of me absolutely would track down as many dalai lamas as i could and i would try to talk to a pope or two you know i, I didn't really that i just before. said the phrase a pope or two <laughs> i know that sounds strange so i like the inf- influential figures but like also a part of me want to wants to go back to like henry v and be like dude so what the fuck is up wasn't it the eighth? Was it the eighth? The one with again, all the wives he kept killing? Yeah, like yeah, where he eighth. like it fucked was Henry VIII. Okay. Yeah. The Marie two, Antoinette and shit. Yeah, that, even that, yeah. That was Henry VIII. All right. I mean, again, we're not really great on history. No, we're not. Nope. Considering we're time travelers. I also <laughs> never took world history, ever. Interesting. I took U.S. history twice. 
And they were like, eh, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> he was history, 275 years times two, that's 600. That's good enough. 500? 275. Oh, I was going to say, you said two. 600. It was like 550. We're splitting hairs here. Time travel. For the love of fucking God. <laughs> <clears throat> Couple more things I want to hit before this trimmed episode. Um, we are going to have more to say in the uncut version if you guys want to take a look at that. We already talked about it. What uh, do you think? Okay, so th- there's no changing timelines, right? Okay. So, Is that what we're wait, understanding so, between the so, two of us? Or so do you believe like, that you could you, go back and change things? So if you went back in time and changed things, it would create an alternate reality or a changed, a, a split I think that's timeline. an assumption that most of us have agreed on. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm with you so far. Th- that, I'm just clarifying. That's what we're, that's the theory we're going with. I guess. So if I went back in time right this second, you know, wizard and all and oh killed Oh my God, Hitler, where'd he go? <laughs> and killed Hitler it would create an alternate timeline in which Hitler had been killed by a wizard from the 21st century. <laughs> God, make this reality someone, please. <laughs> if we are, if we haven't already, somebody she needs to write like an alternate history comic book where a wizard from the 21st century goes back and kills Hitler. <laughs> uh, fucking call it Fred the Wizard. It would be hilarious. <laughs> Drunk all the time. Bourbon, not scotch. Won't- Fuck, won't stop fucking with him. Would that make you my familiar? Yeah, it's, I mean, we're, we're familiar enough. I mean, we're, we're like <laughs> we're like relatives at this point. <laughs> it's not like wrong. Said, almost virtually the same education. We're uh, we're like <laughs> familiar. Yeah, those are familiarity. You're, I don't. Know, I'm done. Um, familiarity. Sure, that one. <laughs> Familial. <laughs> um, time travel. What was the other point you wanted to hit on? Because you seemed like you got a little baked before you realized that you wanted to hit that point. What would you change about your life if you could? Oh, like alternate so- realities aside, if you could go back in time and change something about your development, your character, your relationships, your history, what, what would it be, if anything? If, so the problem is that I have too many of those. You only get one. Exactly. That, that, like, for me, like, it, 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 amuse me, if you will. Right, Do right. You, like, I don't I, want I, this to be a question about regrets. Let's make that clear. No, 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 not even this that. This is a hypothetical about what you imagined your future could be versus what it certainly turned out to be. Uh, yes. Um, and so, I know we're happy people, but there's got to be a tinge of disappointment when we wake up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, like we're all human here. <laughs> so if, if I could go back, like, I mean, I'd like to be less socially awkward. I don't really know how you fix that, but less socially awkward. Like, I'd like to get laid more by different people than I did. I mean, if I'm really fucking honest about it, I'd like that's to. A, that's the least bro way you could have said I'd love to fuck more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I'd love to fuck more because don't get me wrong. I get laid plenty as a married man. <laughs> Just wait. Time will time will cure that over. It's it's fine. Nah. <laughs> You'd be nah. like seventy years old, and I'm gonna be like, dude, what happened? You'd be like, you know what happened? I broke a <laughs> hip last night. That's what fucking <laughs> happened. <laughs> be like, bro, don't you think we should have done that time travel episode now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like. Okay, part of me wished I had like actually like worked out in my youth so that I wasn't, you know, the fat slob I am now. <laughs> Even though I'm not really a fat slob, but like for me, like considering what I was, I'm a fat compared slob. Compared to the rail that you once were. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was a skinny fuck. Yeah, I compared know. Compared to the once precious wizard Fred as an adolescent. You're Where I was 140 you're, at most. You're snowballing into fat slob. We'll put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you're, you. at, you're at the top of the hill. <laughs> but if this trend continues, it's not headed in a good direction. 
Um, but also like in the, like, I'd like to have had better career progression, whether it be, I went like actually to, went to school, like whether it be ROTC or whether it be, um, like bachelor's change, degree, right, yeah, right. Ba- ba- bachelor's degree and either gone into the military or actually utilized it to better, um, like better my career in general. Right. Rather than, you know, being an enlisted member, like, don't get me wrong. I love my job. Yeah. But. I'd like to love my job and what do what I'm doing while making more money. I uh, don't think anybody can hate you for wanting to make more money. I think everybody supports that. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make more money? Good for you, bro. That's what motivation is. <laughs> Not wrong. Well, at least for some people. Not me, <laughs> as a rule. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know, making more money from zero would be pretty good for you let's be fair and in reality if when you pull up to the mcdonald's drive through window do you really want to be greeted by a, a bird with a 90 foot wingspan no <laughs> I, I wouldn't Nine, 90 foot wingspan i'm 90. exaggerating only slightly only slightly maybe by times 10 right this is <laughs> this let's not make this a wing measuring contest okay <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that'll <laughs> conclude our trimmed portion of this episode. If you want to check out the uncut bull bush, uh, go to our Patreon at patreon.com slash talking chaos. It's got to be that $10, $25 tier to get that full bush. We know you want the full bush. Go check out that full bush. Mm-hmm.